So your lines, so you have two shoulders here, so they have to be parallel to each other. See that? And this line here, they all have to go at the same angle. See them three lines and them two? They're all going at the same angle. One, two, three, four, five. So what we're going to do is bring one line at an, an angle, the other line at the same angle. And because this is bigger than the top piece, like that. So them three lines are the exact same angle. Right, lightly draw it. Then this line here is going to come across. And then your line here is going to be what? Yeah, vertical. So it's vertically down. Okay, so you can rub out that line then. Once I've that done, I can bring lightly bring out the corners. Keep them in the same parallel to each other. So that's the top piece here is going to be up here. So this line here, any line then, should be the exact same. So just bring it out, bring it out, this line here, this line are parallel, so this one has to be parallel as well. So then you have four, or sorry, three corners here, we're going to bring them all straight down, vertical. So all your vertical lines should be vertical and parallel. Okay, if you want to close it off, you can. I'm going to close this off, vertical, slanted. Okay, once you have that done, that's most of it done. All we have to worry about now is our two dowels. Okay, sorry, I'm off the board on it. Okay, so we have to worry about our two dowels here. So we're going to just draw in our two holes here. As long as it's not, bring over that line. Once it's not lower than that. So a circle here and a circle here. And we're going to just draw the top of a back lightly. Has to be parallel with these two. The bottom lightly, the top lightly here, and the bottom lightly here. Okay, so that's going to be the outside of our dowel, outside of our dowel, and then we just round it off. Okay, so we can round it off. Same with this one then, we'll keep them around the same length. Heavy it in here, here, and round it off. So these two dowels now are going to go in and fit into them holes there. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is, looking at our picture, we have our grain. We haven't explained this yet, so we're going to do it now. So you have to draw in your end grain. Okay, so there's the grain of the timber to show that it's timber. If we don't put that grain in, we've no way of knowing what type of material it is. Okay, so we have a few lines down this way. Two lines down this way. Okay, it really makes your drawing stand out now. Okay, same with this one, you have a few lines of grain. They don't have to be dead straight. Lines on this side, lines on this side. Okay, so next thing we're missing is colour. So we're just going to colour it in lightly. Okay, it's not a very good brown, but colour it in lightly. So my colour now is starting to hide some of my pencil lines. So just colour it in very lightly. Okay, that's just a quick job. And now, if you've that done, it kind of doesn't stand out now. So just go over all your edges, really quickly. It'll only take you one minute to do this in the whole drawing. So you'll spend about five or six minutes extra in the whole exam, just tidying it up, and it'll be worth it. Sketches could make a difference between an A and a B. So this side's very stand out -ish already. Okay, don't forget your grain then. So the grain, the pencil stands out more now with the brown. And you can see it's actually wood because we have the grain. Okay, so that's it then. We have a doweled butt joint. So it's sketched, coloured now and it's labelled. And the only thing we're missing then is our box. We're going to put the box in here then on the bottom. Is that okay?